All right, so welcome back. My name is Randall Chongson, and we're here for another video. And really excited to talk to you about these things, some development in the investment investment side, making things very easy. So with me here is somebody I've been chatting with offline. Okay, his name's Ivan Ante. Ivan, can you kindly introduce yourself? Hi, so I'm Ivan Ante, like what Randall mentioned. I'm a multi-asset portfolio manager for Atram Trust Corporation. I've been in the investment management space for about nine years already. I've been around equities, fixed income, and then I've been an analyst, I've been a trader, a portfolio manager for equities, and now I'm a multi-asset portfolio manager. So we all look uh, globally and locally, both in both asset classes, even commodities. So I'm excited it's been about a... what we're going to talk to you about, uh, Ivan. Sure, yeah. We're gonna you you are we are talking about your smart equity index in, fund, okay? Yeah. Smart equity <laughs> index, and I although I've interviewed Ivan offline, so <laughs> you said smart equity index. What is a smart? What what makes it smart? You know, it's an index fund, <laughs> but what makes it? Yes. Smart? By the way, Siguro maybe in mm -hmm. the interest of other people, maybe you can talk about what an index fund is to start. Sure. With. So yeah, that's a that's a mouthful, right? A smart index fund. What does what does that mean? So let me start with an index. Does that mean so an index smart is really, manager? No, right. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> and I can show you later about the performance. <laughs> but uh, an index basically is a is a is a for example the PSEI, the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. It's a representation of all the companies in the in the country, right? Um, in the PSEI, it's the biggest companies in the Philippines. So that's an index. And usually, people invest in tracker funds, which tracks that index. So an index, you don't need an active selection. You just copy the index. The PSEI decides what the index, what are the components are, what are the companies that are in the index, and what are the weights of those companies are. Um, if you're an investor uh, for an index tracker fund, then you just copy that. So this one is a smart index, right? Okay. So it has oh, the way, benefits to add, of the index. Add, no? yeah. In the index mm -hmm. part or the PCOM, the, P, the PSEI, we used to call it physics. Anyway, so way back. Oh, yeah. so, <laughs> the PSEI pretty much has the largest companies, largest capital, uh, um, mm -hmm. market according to market capitalization. Mm -hmm. So And then they move. So they, they do change. From time to time, they will add or they will remove. So if your market has, you know, gone down and everything, yeah, there's a chance, especially when there's a bottom, ka, no? you might be mm -hmm. looking out and they might bring it back in. But generally, and generally, especially on the, maybe the top 15, 20, these are what mm -hmm. they call the blue chip stocks. Okay? Yes. They're performing yeah. well. And that's the reason why their capitalization is big. And that's the reason why they are in the index. So, you know, if you're a tamad investor like me, I don't want to think about it. I go to the, mm -hmm. the index because I'm sure you know, that all the big companies are there. There's a reason why they're there. Mm -hmm. And and you've seen that, you know, historically, they've not, they've done pretty well. Yeah. Here you are, you're saying there's a better mm -hmm. way to do in. I mean, yes, let's do index, but there's a smarter way to do index. So, yes. How about a little bit about the smart index? So, let me share a screen uh, okay, go, presentation go, go. so that it can be easier, I think, for the audience to to digest what uh, what you're talking about. So like what, I, like what you mentioned, this is a smart index. So why is it smart, right? Um, just from that name, it's a combination of the uh, index, all the benefits of that, and uh, a combination of active managers. In Atram, we are active managers, uh, meaning that we believe that we can beat the index, uh, that there is this uh, opportunity for us to select stocks uh, to change the components of the index so that we can perform better, right? And that's really the main focus of uh, investment management management for us. You're talking, about, is to, you're talking about other products like the Alpha Opportunity and all this. Alpha, things. Alpha, yeah. They're really you know. done to, they're designed to really outperform, not just, mm -hmm. not they're way outperform these funds that may or may not happen, you know, at a certain time, right? So, yes. So those things, okay. So this one, uh, it's a combination of that. It's a combination of an index fund and an active fund. Um, so why do we want to do that? It's because we want to focus on the large cap okay. uh, blue chips index because we think that there is value to be Those made there. In the index. 
Those in the index. Those who made so, it in the index. Okay. Those who made it already in the index. But at the same time, even though it made it in the index, there will also be companies diba, that can outperform and underperform relative to each other. So let's say um, in the past, in, the, in this pandemic last year, the telco companies outperformed the property companies, right? When the pandemic hit because there were utilities. So how do you figure out uh, which one will outperform? And this is really what this is, what this, uh, what makes it smart is. Um, so we have a quantitative and rules-based approach. What does that mean, right? Uh, what's a quantitative and rules-based approach that makes this fund smarter and that it can beat the index? Um, so what we use is really uh, four factors. Um, first one is earnings and sentiment. So really, what's the earnings growth, right? Uh, and that's very, if the higher growth that you have, uh, we think that it's going to be more valuable and then you will outperform the rest of the, the names. And then the second one, and it's not really looked upon by other investors, is that the change in analyst recommendations. Like for example, Randall, you mentioned the bank, if you're kind of lazy, you just want to do your job and you want to make your yeah. money work for you. You just invest in the index. Yeah. Uh, but there are people who look at each of those companies and look at the intrinsic value. What's the value of that company? So those are the analysts, right? Uh, uh, there's a lot of them. And uh, institutional investors like Adram, um, we also look at their reports. So it has informational advantage. So if they change their call, like for example, oh, I'm more bullish now. Uh, I'm more positive on property or in cars or in malls, then they will change their earnings forecast. When they change that, um, and it takes a while for the market to digest the news, then there's an opportunity there to invest yeah. first, right? So that's what we look at. That's one. Quality is the second one. So uh, are you making money over your cost? Um, do you have a sustainable business model? Uh, for example, like what you mentioned already, um, if you do not have a sustainable business model over time, you will be beat by other companies. So yeah. or um, you're not going to be as big. Yeah. You're going to be taken out of the yeah. index. Um, or even you're going to go uh, somewhere and go bankrupt. Uh, so what we have to look for is uh, quality companies. Right? So the more quality company that you are, the higher your growth is, the higher your our earnings are, uh, over your cost of capital, the better it is. So Evan, just to interject a little bit, no? Sure. So it can be that your quality and yet maybe your your price is not yet reflected of that. Because in the index, you need mm -hmm. to understand that this, your ranking is based on your um, your capital, uh, market capital. Market capital. So yes. that's the cost of your stock multiplied by the number of shares. So basically, yeah. so how you do it that way. So, pwede, mm -hmm. and this is possible, pwede quality ka na, and yet the market hasn't bought into that yet. So, mm -hmm. you can be in the index, you might be high quality, but maybe you don't even belong to the top 10 yet or the top 15 yet. So, mm -hmm. in terms of your share, because of your market capitalization is very small, mababa ka. And you're saying mm -hmm. is that upon our analysis, this guy is not going to be there for, you know, after a while, you know, when, when, mm -hmm. when the market read, reads this and sees this, they were going to go up because of their mm -hmm. fundamental strength, or mm -hmm. maybe, you know, oh, take a, this, this industry is growing. Uh, yes. oh, these guys oh. are making money. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. new regulations are profit, they're profiting from this new regulation. And so, and you see that. So before they make those, mm -hmm. those market changes, because they do, mm -hmm. guys, very passive index, uh, when market capitalization moves, they do move also. So before mm -hmm. they do that happen, you go there. So instead of, let's say, Let's just put amount now. instead of just three percent mm -hmm. of the index, mm -hmm. maybe you can overweight it a little bit to five percent mm -hmm. and, and thereby making that. That mm -hmm. that's how it is smart. All right. Okay. Yes. Am Precisely. I it right, Ivan? Yeah. Okay. You got it exactly right. right. So it's just uh, basically owning more of what you want based on these factors, right? Okay. So it's owning more of what we think will yeah. owning more companies that will outperform the rest. Or the and these side, are the factors. And the flip side, you might think yeah. some, some funds, some, some companies in the index might be overvalued already. Mm -hmm. So you would so, underweight. Let's say, take out. I mean, they, they benefited from like a 
spike in I don't know. Commodity prices. For yeah, whatever you know, they went up crazy. Yeah. That's why their share became much higher in the index. Mm -hmm. But you might say, that, well, this is not going to last. It's, mm -hmm. it's going to correct, you know, and stuff like that. Before it corrects, we're going to correct it ahead. So mm -hmm. if assuming it's seven percent of six, that's okay, five percent of the index. Maybe in our assessment, you should only be two percent or three percent. Now I can do that. Yeah. So, so no, wait, all right. Overweight, underweight, own more of what uh, we think will uh, or own less. Appreciate more or yeah. own less of what we think are super cheap, uh, super expensive. Yeah, already. yeah. So that's so. Parang ganon. If it's cheap, I'll buy more. If it's expensive, maybe I don't want to have more. Of yeah. Because mm -hmm. the index uh, doesn't the, tell you that. No, it just no, it doesn't. Yeah, it just it's just the size. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's it's uh, so. It's this is smart, right? And the index is just well, it's just uh, it's just uh, copying everything without thinking about it. But as we, you know, the main point here is as we know, you can beat the index. It's just hard, so you have to have a methodology to do so consistently, okay. right? And this is one of those things. And the last one is momentum. Um, uh, I know everyone here or everyone that's listening know about if, for example, oh, this stock. Uh, this property stock, for example, it goes up last year. Uh, usually, it will go up uh, next year, right? Or for example, naman, um, uh, the momentum naman is, oh, if it went super down this month, usually it goes back to where it went before. Uh, it, uh, so it's a combination of that. It's, it's either okay. who's the biggest performer last year okay. or last six months. Probably and usually it performs again in the next six okay. months. Okay, okay. So that's momentum, right? And what's 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 good about the system is that it doesn't only look at one factor. Like what I mentioned, these are four factor families. Yeah, but like, if, uh, mm -hmm. if you only look at one factor, you might give into certain biases also. No, you might yes, be, yeah. you might be overwhelmed. Ah, mm -hmm. and then wait, wait, there are other factors that I have to see first. Mm -hmm. You know, and, all the, and then that's a problem of individual investors. So you can get carried mm -hmm. away just because, oh, they're earning well and, and, and you know, this is going to be, and then you're not seeing the other factors. Yeah, they might be earning well, but maybe they're, they're not going to be trending, you know, yeah. again anymore, or mm -hmm. maybe they're very expensive already. They mm -hmm. maybe already been priced in and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so you might have certain biases. So, and that's mm -hmm. the beauty because. You have the many factors that you need to consider that makes it smart. All right, get it. Okay, I got it. And then, and then, what it makes it makes it smarter is that uh, we all know that information is gold in the stock market, mm -hmm. right? That's your commodity. If you have more information, the quicker you have it, uh, the better for you because you can move faster. And here we have weekly updates of these information. If there are any changes, we capture it fast. So if we think there's a big change like, um, oh, this company that we like, uh, big lang, it, uh, it has a, it worsened the fundamental. Parang the earnings went down because of a, of a war or for example, uh, ASF or African swine flu, it's affected pala. And it's not yet known by everyone, but we can capture it na in the data. Yeah. Then we can kaagad change our portfolio. We move ahead. So it's fast. We Your move ahead. research team needs to, you know, I guess mas pagging research team niyo. Yeah. And you it's need, a research you team so this, yeah. yeah, you need to talk to them all the time. Even this the local companies, I know for a fact that you guys talk to them on a regular basis. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. Uh yeah. So so that so just to summarize Randall, it's uh, both that we use these factors interchangeably and together to make it more robust na parang oh, it's not going to be biased lang. And we update our information quickly. Okay. Uh, and then we change our portfolio if there's any changes. Okay. So I, I guess just want to emphasize uh, this, and uh, Ivan, for those listening, hmm? no, these are all within the framework of still the index because yes, managers can get out of the index basically. You know, so so if I am um, uh, managing a particular fund, uh, say ABC fund, it can hmm. be very actively managed, but I can also buy outside of the index. I mean, you know, I can buy an IPO or I can buy a second mm -hmm. diner or, you know, or basura stock or whatever. Mm -hmm. I can put that in my fund. But yes. in this smart index fund, you are, I mean, I guess the beauty is you are now just limited within the index. I can play mm -hmm. 
will the weights, the overweight, and buy more or buy less, mm -hmm. basta it belongs in the index. So in a way, mm -hmm. you are protected by, you know, mm -hmm. you're only buying large capital stocks. Yeah. So you're not going to be buying this, you know, high growth but high volatility stock. Uh, you're still going to be there. And the reason why mm -hmm. it's smart, I can play within the index. So it's, mm -hmm. it's like an index, but it's not. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like a an actively managed, but it's still an index. So right? mm -hmm. now I get it. Now you're very smart to call it a smart index fund. Yeah. And I guess uh, let me share Go. the the really the main after after all of these uh, presentations and factors, um, what makes it smart really is the historical performance, yeah. right? Like for example, if oh I use this, but it doesn't work in the yeah. market. When you execute it, then it's not really smart, right? You're gonna, Your investors gonna there. <laughs> yeah. So I think I can share with you okay, go. Uh, are the performance of the last year when everything's volatile, right? Um, everyone had a hard time. So because of this process, um, what we did is really okay. So this is the performance last year. Obviously, the index was down and the Philippine equities market is down. And therefore, the mark uh, the fund is down. But uh, as you can see here, we outperformed the PSEI by 2.58% last year. Um, the fund is the white line, and then the the PSEI is the yellow line. As you can see here, I think most especially the most important part is really if you look at March when the the market dropped so much, we outperformed the kagad index. So we protected capital kagad because we saw already that there's something wrong yeah. um, with these companies. So what we did is we reduced most of our exposures to those cyclically oriented companies that will get hit, right? like lockdown, hit kagad, there's no activity. And we shifted to the more defensive um, companies like utilities, telcos, and that really helped us a lot last year. That's why when they recovered, uh, you recovered ahead. Yes, because yeah, okay. we protected the capital because it's very important, right? To protect your capital first. Yeah. That's the first rule of investing. Never lose money or protect your capital first. And this is actually the best. Uh, I think you mentioned that we are in the index. So it's the largest uh, companies and also obviously the most uh, secure in terms of funding. They have diversified business revenues. So yeah. they're not going to be uh, going to go bankrupt. Easily and they're liquid. Like the other they're buying their they're stuff. liquid. Yeah, yeah, you might be get you might get stuck with a, a stock that nobody wants to buy, and that's yeah. a reality, right? So if it's one of those <laughs> stocks that you can't even sell, even if you want to sell it, so that's yeah. a problem. At least you're you're not guaranteed, but the probability that people will buy it, there's also going to be people buying it on that. Uh, at yes. least those in the index, okay. But also so, the outside is, yeah, hmm. you can outperform, but hindi naman pwedeng sobrang layo because you're just no, yeah. in the index. And yes. one of the reasons why some funds outperform, because sometimes they move it to cash, right? They push, mm -hmm. You can't do that because it's in an index, but then, right? Um, to, I mean, so there, I think there is a there is an option for us to increase our cash a bit, but not, for sure not like ten percent, not fifteen percent. We have a little bit uh, of leeway um, mm -hmm. to increase cash, for example, because of redemption, subscription, and also because of if we think really that it's going to go down. It's also in our methodology na para, oh, like for example, right, the index trackers, um, what they do is they're fully invested. But here, this is also why it's smart, right? If, for example, the active managers say, oh, the market's going to go down and we don't do anything about it, then we're not that smart, <laughs> okay. right? So so it's, it's smart in many ways. It's also smart in protecting your capital. But at the same time, it's an index fund, so we can't really go 10% There's cash. There's a limitation. It's a limit. Yeah, yeah. It's a limit because you can't be wrong, right? Yeah. Um, and, uh, so it's both, it's, a, it's an active and a passive index strategy okay. with limitations. So you know what you're buying All as right, an investor. Right. You know. Um, so my question, who, who should be investing in a fund like this? So that's a question. Oh. Who do you yeah. think should be investing in a fund like this? So based from historical uh, investors in their fund, um, I can show you. Okay. 
sorry, that's uh, so we have new to investing. Everyone can be investors in this one. And we have good news later on. I'll tell you why. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So, so everyone who are new to investing and who wants to participate in the stock market, because we all know, um, despite the PSEI not really uh, performing so much uh, last year, we think that there will be a recovery in the long term. Okay. And if you want, if you have extra savings and you want to deploy that, de ba? Um, you want to participate in the Philippine recovery, then you want to invest in the largest and uh, the blue chips. Yeah. So you can invest here. It's an opportunity here. for you to buy these stocks cheap because mm -hmm. if, if you wanted to buy them a year, two years ago, this, they can be a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. but now you can actually get them in a good, well, it's not as cheap as it was maybe last year, but then mm -hmm. again, you know, it's still, it's good value. So you might mm -hmm. want to consider investing, especially have a long-term view. I want to emphasize, no, Ivan, para alam natin, people who want to invest in anything with an equity per, equity lace type, whether you're buying individual stocks or buying funds, whether in a UITF mutual fund or even in a VUL, you have to understand that these are long-term investment uh, securities. These are long-term investment instruments. They mm -hmm. are really not designed. Of course, you can make money in a year, two years, but it is always better to have time as a horizon. So mm -hmm. if you have, you know, if you want to invest in the long term, uh, you know, you want to prepare for your retirement or even getting married, you know, maybe 22, 23, you want to get married mm -hmm. at 30. Then maybe you have six yeah. years to prepare for your wedding. You know, by mm -hmm. that time, uh, open na lahat, mahal. Mura yung magpakasa ngayon, by that time, hindi na mura. So <laughs> you want to invest. Yeah. You might want to get married now. Anyway, so you want to do that, then that's something that you can consider also, right? So mm -hmm. you, I think that's uh, that's quite uh, correct. Na parang it has to be long term, because um, all of these it's volatile, right? Uh, mm -hmm. If you're gonna invest your money that you need uh, next month, you don't know if it's gonna be up or down. Yeah. So don't it, invest no one... in emergency fund, please lang. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, yeah. not even invested. I mean, maybe you can consider money market. That's it. Okay. Yeah, you can earn like. 0.1%. <laughs> but it's safe. Yeah. Okay. One point something. <laughs> one point, one point something. Um, okay. And then not only for you to investing, right? For example, you're a stock picker. You have your online brokerage account, right? Um, you're picking your second liners, third liners, the high growth stocks. But at the same time, you're not sure if you're going to be correct in your timing because it's very hard to pick stocks, right? Mm -hmm. You need a lot of information. Um, but at the same time, it can easily, if you be, think, high. It can easily be high. It can, definitely. But we all know that it Don't can get go up 50%. From Facebook. <laughs> okay. <See ya. laughs> yes. Um, so if you're that, uh, if you want to play in the market, definitely go ahead. But of, obviously, the caveat is you have to research okay. and you have to know what you're buying. At the same time, if you're doing that and, and you're bullish the stock market and you want to kind of hedge a bit, na parang, oh, baka I might not do well on my own, mm -hmm. you want to invest in an index fund that can do well uh, because we have this, uh, we have professionals working for you. Okay. All right. So you can do your own and uh, hire somebody to, to manage uh, your capital for you also. So, for example, if you don't do well and the uh, index does well, then you at least are hedged. Yeah. So, in one part of your portfolio, you you earn. Okay. Very good. So, and then the last one is the institutional investors. Like, uh, for example, uh, you have pension funds. Um, you have wealth clients, those that have 50 million, 100 million. They invest in this fund also. Why? It's because they want uh, an exposure to large cap companies, right? Um, for example, in this one, we've already mentioned that's an index, so large cap. You want an exposure because you think it's going to go up. Um, uh, for, and then you can also use other funds as your small cap exposure, like, uh, for example, Alpha Opportunity. So you can combine both okay. funds if you're a big fund because hey, you don't have the capacity or the expertise to pick your own stocks. So what you want to do is you allocate na lang. I want small cap, I want large cap. So you pick the funds, right? That can give you that exposure. And this fund can give you large cap okay. exposure. Fair enough. Can give you market returns and outperform pa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. 
So I guess I guess just to add no a little bit. Yeah. So a lot of people and you hear this here uh, investment experts, influencers, everybody says, you know, don't it's good to buy index blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. You've been hearing that. I what they yeah. but say if you want to get exposure just stick to the index and everybody says that. And to agree mm-hmm. to a certain degree I agree. Uh, mm-hmm. personally I don't put all my money on an index because mm-hmm. I still want some growth uh, but yeah. also if you want exposure to index but you want it you know to perform you know may, may counting and not much and you say the limitation also you just limited uh, I'm, I'm sure naman you're not gonna overweight by four or five times more than the index right so no the counting and you still want to do that and you still you still want to be protected by the limitations of the index, then this is perfect for you, right? Mm-hmm. So I want a little bit movement. I don't want a very static type of a index na, you know, gagalaw lang yan because maybe huli yung index kung gumalaw and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But, you know, long term, I know it's good. I want to do that. And you've proven in the last four years or so, you are slightly better, not way better, but better. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and that's, so that's perfect for you. If I Maybe I don't want the... I don't want a, a fund that masyadong malayo dun sa index or wala mm-hmm. sa index or wild masyado yung, yung allocations. Okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, like some of the funds that you carry, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, may binabagayan yung investment investors like mm-hmm. me. I like some of your funds also just to be, mm-hmm. just to be transparent. Yeah. Pero if you're, you know, then this is a, an idea for you. All right? Mm-hmm. Uh, charges. This, this basically since it's an index, it will carry a smaller charge than let's say a very actively managed one. Yes. That's your yes. advantage also. Okay. Yeah. So we're cheaper also. Okay. But you outperform them. <laughs> so, not so all, not all. Cost like but, a uh, same or a little bit more expensive than a tracker? Um, Does this work? Between- it's a little bit more expensive. So it's in between. So yeah, a okay. tracker is this. Active. We're in between also in terms of cost. All right. Okay. That, uh, yeah. So again, so there's... So you get what you you pay for. Yeah. There's a disadvantage if you go on a very active because you have to pay more. But then mm-hmm. again, you know, they can really way outperform. Okay. That's mm-hmm. that's in principle. So, but then mm-hmm. you have to pay for it. So, in terms of charges, you don't charge as much as an a very active fund. No. So slightly yeah. higher than a index fund, na very passive. Mm-hmm. So that's good for you. So you're you're somewhere in the middle. All right. Yes. And then, okay, so for the interest of the others, the reason why I'm so excited, the reason why we're doing this video. Is because this will now be included in your GCash. You can go check your phone, okay? Mm-hmm. GCash your phone. Go to your G Invest. It will give you the options. These are one of the options. I'm all one, two, five options. Okay. By the way, I'm not paid by Atram. I'm not paid by GCash to say this. I'm just I'm just excited because I want everybody to start investing. So this will be one of the five. Uh, I want to maybe I can do it. Each and every one, a video for each and every one of those funds. One of the five uh, options that you have where you can use. And ako na magkasabi, Ivan, unahan na kita, na? You can sure. actually leave it or not, which I think I'm surprised, really, delightedly surprised that you can start this investment for as low as 50 pesos. I mean, where can you put 50 pesos where you can put it in the stock market? <laughs> you can use it this yeah. your G Gcash. Okay, your GCash. So, you know, I'm really excited because I love GCash. It's easy to use. Why I love also mm-hmm. like ING, by the way, just be clear. Okay, I like mm-hmm. all this technology uses, uh, stuff like But now I can actually do investments and I can go with an index. All right. Mm-hmm. So, for 50 pesos, I mean, you're crazy not to do that. And that's why I tell yeah. people test it out, try it, uh, invest for the next two to three years. Let's see if it works for you. If it doesn't, then you know, get out of it. But I believe mm-hmm. in the next two to three years, you'll be see substantial growth in your investments. You want to add anything, Ivan? So oh, GCash, no, no. 50 pesos. I mean, you cannot go wrong. You are in an index, but not just an index, a smart index. Smart index, yeah. A smart index. So that's... That outperforms the other index, yeah. Okay. That's, so that's uh, what you get. Okay. All okay. right. So, so that's very, very important. Maybe you can... Uh, turn off now your sharing if you're not going to share anything. Okay, sure. Okay. So, okay, we can start this. Mm-hmm. It's going to be available. Uh, by the time you're watching this video, it means that the, it's now live. 
Okay? Mm-hmm. You know, try it out. I mean, 50 pesos, honestly, ha, walang mangyayari sa 50 pesos even if it turns 20-30%. Okay? So, <laughs> what I recommend is you look at your budget, you look at your cash, you look at your salary, you look at your income, whatever, you allocate a certain amount of money for investing. Let's say, so let's say I earn, assuming I earn 25,000 a month. And assuming I can save as much as 5,000 pesos a month. I only spend 20,000. So that 5,000, maybe I would put 3,000 on a, you know, a savings. You know, I just need a liquidity saving. But maybe I can put one or 2,000 on an investment like this. So maybe this is another option. If you want to mix it, maybe you put 1,000 in bonds, bond fund, and 1,000 in a smart index fund. Or maybe mm-hmm. you're young, you're as young as Ivan, and I tell <laughs> young people, go ahead and invest. Because if you lose your money, Ivan, you still have yeah. money. Right? Okay. Just, just kidding. You earn it back. Yeah, earn it back. <laughs> okay, you can ask money from your parents. Pa. Okay, but if you can ask, we can. All right. So, mm-hmm. so you want to be able to do that. So that's that's a very good recommendation we have for you. And, mm-hmm. and there, I mean, it's an index, but it's not. Okay? It's mm-hmm. uh, actively managed, but it's not. So what is it? It's a smart index. <laughs> So, <laughs> so thank you, you thank you random I get to take a look at uh, I'm going to put the links also so Ivan mm-hmm. what do you want what do you want to add on you want to close this no yeah so I'm very excited for you guys to try out this uh, index fund if you want to participate in the Philippine stock market like what uh, Randon mentioned Gcash 50 pesos to want to try it out right and this is a perfect way for you to peso cost average yeah. for example if you're not yet sure Uh, you just uh, try first and then if you get comfortable, especially because these are the blue chips, then you can add when it goes up, when add when it's go down because you can't really time it. Yeah. And I think uh, the combination of the access from Gcash and this kind of fund gives you that uh, beginner-friendly ability to start investing. And it's easier. I mean, if you, like, yeah. <laughs> you open a mutual fund, your ITF account, it's so hassle. Okay, so now this yeah, is... Definitely. So very, very important. Suggestion call for you guys, Ivan at Atram, and mm-hmm. you can throw it to Gcash. Have a an auto debit facility for this so that you can time it. Because now you can do it for your G-Save. You can mm-hmm. allocate. So so if you can do it, it's going to be easier. It removes this, you know, money is behavioral. It's not mechanical, mm-hmm. all right? Yeah. So I understand that. So if I can have a recommendation for you guys, maybe maybe you can talk to Gcash or and you guys do it. Maybe have an auto debit facility for this. You can set mm-hmm. it. So, guys, I would recommend not to not invest just 50 pesos. I know it's the entry level, but that's your 50 pesos will not get anywhere. All right. <laughs> Even if it earns, look at it. If it earns 30% in three years, okay. In three years, your 50 pesos will be how much? 65 pesos, okay, or 70 pesos when you put the compounding effect. It doesn't amount to anything. So maybe set aside. So maybe five percent of your uh, disposable income, or maybe ten percent, or maybe twenty percent, or maybe five percent of your total income, maybe thirty percent of your disposable income. Uh, you do the numbers, you do it, and if you can, you know, if you take this recommendation, your Ivan, wala kang choice because it's gonna be in YouTube now. Okay, so yeah. auto debit facility is gonna mm-hmm. really do wonders uh, for all of you. So with yeah. that. Ivan, can you ask them to subscribe to this channel naman? Please subscribe to Randall's <laughs> channel. Like, subscribe. Um, we're expecting you to do so. And uh, if you if you invest already in Gcash, please comment also that you invest. Yeah, so we will do that. <laughs> okay, so looking forward and hopefully I get to invite the other guys to talk to you about. I'm really excited for all your funds, really. And as promised, no, I never I never put something I don't practice. So I, I will now... Mm-hmm. Invest in each and every one of those. Maybe except the money market, but yeah. to to to, magalit sa akin yung money market. I like the, <laughs> I like the other mm-hmm. four. I like this one, but I also like the 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 other two that's coming out. And hopefully, I will yeah. be featuring it. So Gcash Atram partnership. I mean, what else can you ask for? All right, my one. All right. Subscribe. Thank and you. Bye bye. Subscribe and like and comment, please. Bye. See you. Bye bye.